Today we're gonna to be showing you guys the brand new Tesla CCS Combo One adapter. So behind me, I have our 2022 Model X and we have our 2018 Model 3. So these are compatible with most Teslas, but right now they're only available with the newer models. So today, we're gonna to show you guys the insane charging speeds on our Model X, and we're gonna show you what happens when you try to charge it on an older Tesla as well. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna give you guys some pro tips, and we're even gonna give you a little hack if you do not have one of these. So let's go. All right. Here it is. Set that down. It is pretty heavy, but not too bad. It's definitely not as heavy as the giant Chatamo adapters. If you've ever used one of those, they're huge. We've used it in previous videos. Um, so it's nice to have something a little more compact. Um, in terms of size, you can see how it is compared to the J1772. It's quite a bit bigger. Definitely more heavy, but it's just basically a pass-through. So we have the Tesla side, the CCS side, and we're gonna go try it out, show you guys what it's like using it. The adapter costs $250 and opens you up to more than 20,000 additional DC fast charging stalls across the country. Of course, you also have access to Tesla's roughly 15,000 stalls across the US. So you're basically doubling your charging access overnight. And a lot of times some of these CCS chargers are actually quite a bit cheaper than Tesla chargers. And why this is so important is because Tesla is gradually opening up its supercharger stations everywhere. So it started in Europe and now they're gonna go across the US. All EVs are gonna be able to use Tesla supercharger stations, but a lot of Tesla owners don't like that, especially out in California where the chargers are really busy. So this now gives us access to other charger stations like EVgo, we can charge up to 250 kilowatts with this. So it's, it's nice that we have those options in addition to Tesla superchargers with this adapter. So we're gonna go try this out at an EVgo station, which is actually one of the most reliable chargers. And it is 100% powered by renewable energy, which I really like. And they even let you reserve a charger in advance. So check them out. You can download the EVgo app and I'll link them in the description below. Now, not every Tesla is able to use this yet, but you can check on your car and see if you are able to get this now. They are prioritizing the new 2022 build, like our Model X, that's how we got it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to check if you can get this. You're gonna go into your control and then go to software. And then right here where it says additional vehicle information, you can see that it says CCS adapter support enabled. So let's check out our Model 3 now and see what it says in there. All right, so we're in our Model 3. We're gonna go into our control, software, additional vehicle information, and see how it says not installed. Tesla's gonna offer a retrofit for all the older cars. This car is built in 2018. It basically needs a new ECU, and Tesla used to sell those, but now they don't. And there's a couple videos on YouTube that I'll link where it shows you how you can do the retrofit yourself if you're able to get a hold of the new ECU that you need. Um, but it's only a few months away, so you might as well wait, in my opinion, and actually get it done by Tesla. Tesla did confirm that there is a production cutoff date and that all cars built after October 5th, 2020 will have the proper hardware to accept CCS charging. If your Tesla was built before that date, you'll need a Gen 4 ECU, which costs roughly $200 and takes about an hour to install. Of course, if you road trip a lot or live in a city where you're closer to CCS chargers than superchargers, then it's a no-brainer. Looking at Tesla and other CCS-enabled chargers side-by-side, charge speeds are pretty similar between Tesla superchargers, which range between 72 to 250 kilowatts, and non-Tesla stations like EVgo that can charge between 50 to 350 kilowatts. The latest Teslas only accept up to 250 kilowatts right now. Cost-wise, Tesla will charge you between 30 to 50 cents a kilowatt hour to use. So a full charge can cost you between 30 to $40 depending on your battery size. Compare that to most CCS charging stations that'll set you back between 25 to 45 cents a kilowatt hour and cost between $20 to $30. Okay, so let's do this. Open butthole. I mean, why not? 
So I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to enroll in Auto Charge Plus. You're gonna go right here. You're gonna select your vehicles. Now I have already entered in our Tesla Model X. I have also already put in our credit card. So I'm gonna click Request to Enroll. Yes, I have one. And there we go. We just select the charging station. And from here you can just pull up, plug in, and it automatically charges you. It's that easy. All right, plug in TCS combo connector within 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, here is the adapter piece. It just plugs right in. Look at this, connecting to your vehicle. Did you know EVgo is powered by 100% renewable energy? I think that is amazing. I remember back in the day, Tesla said they were going to do this, but they haven't done it yet. So it's nice to know that somebody is making that happen and you feel good about the energy. Here we go. Connection successful. So we should be green. Let's go check out our charging speeds. I'm so impressed at how fast this thing is going. So we were actually at 28% when we plugged in, but you can see that we're getting 230 kilowatts. So we've gone from 28% to 39, almost 40% here in just a few minutes. And it's actually faster than a lot of Tesla superchargers. And you know, if we were on a lower state of charge when we got here, it would have gone up to 250 kilowatts. So this is definitely a nice way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out some of the stats right here. So you can see we've gone from 28% to basically 50% in about seven minutes. We have a giant battery pack and we've pulled an impressive amount of energy with this. So here you can see we pay by the minute, other states pay by the kilowatt hour. So what I really love is that you can sign up with Auto Charge Plus and it's kind of like a Tesla-like experience. You don't have to like get your credit card out and fumble around with it. You can actually even reserve chargers with the membership um, and it shows all of your stats right here. And it's really cute. Actually, all the chargers have names. This one is Tabitha. Check it out, we're at 420. So, <laughs> had to highlight that because, you know. 28% um, up to 64% right now, and that is the cost right there. But I love this app, it shows you everything. Um, you can see that it goes up to 350 kilowatts. All in the app, super easy to use. So I highly recommend EVgo if you're looking to charge other than obviously the Tesla chargers. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. You can see we've gone from 28, almost up to 80% in 20 minutes here. Um, it's gone really fast. It's really on par with V3 charging, but essentially we've doubled our supercharging network by having access to this. So it's pretty cool. Here we go, and let's see how much this costs. Okay, thank you so much, Tabitha. Our final session costs $6.74, not bad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unplug here. There we go. Very similar to Tesla charging, just seamless. But now we are gonna go over to our 2018 Model 3 and show you what happens when we use this CCS adapter. Hopefully we do not break our Model 3. All right. So it's in there. So here is what happens when you try to charge. Pretty much nothing. We're kind of stuck in this middle ground where it is trying to connect, but it's not able to read it. Basically, it needs a new ECU, so it's not able to connect right now. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this and then show you the hack for if you still wanna charge. So if you do not have one of these, or you have an older Tesla and you still want to be able to charge at non-Tesla chargers, EVgo is the only third-party charging station that actually has built-in Tesla connectors. So let's go ahead and charge up our Model 3. So this is really cool because it used to be that the only option was these giant Chatamo chargers. So now we not only have this, but we also have EVgo fast charging stations that have that built-in Tesla charger. So it's just seamless. It's just like, you know, more chargers out there. So it makes road tripping that much easier. And that's why I love this. 
All right guys, if you wanna try EVgo, check out the link in the description below. So EVgo is actually offering all Tesla owners a free three month trial of their EVgo Plus plan, where they waive the $6.99 monthly fee for the trial period. So there's no session fees, you get an extra 20% off their standard rates, and the best part is, is you can reserve a charger in advance. Plus EVgo has the Tesla-like Auto Charge Plus feature, where you can just plug in and your charge starts automatically without even having to swipe a card. Both new and existing EVgo customers are eligible for the promo, and the only way to enroll in the free trial is through the EVgo app. So check them out below, and thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time.